confetti. Streamer here with airplanes, bugs, flowers, cars, people, guitars, little bits and pieces of this and that. Then they are those spiders, birds, crawfish, ducks, city streets, buildings, lakes, and trees. What do you think it all means? Soap opera, what? Soap opera, villains, heroes, body works, weird visual stuff, weird oral stuff, music, water, rocks, flying saucers, UFOs, street festivals, confetti, 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 confetti. 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 It's becoming less about like still life, like like that one is, and, and like mm -hmm. some of the others that you you look at, and 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 more about just sort of sensations of of light and uh, and and how the, those things are sort of um, interplayed with um, you know other objects and marks and lines, and they they never really start off or they they're never really finished like they start off. They just kind of keep kind of emerging and just you know responding to the color and using those studies you know to help with the you know with the color that's in there mm -hmm. and uh, I did a lot of drawing too just in the evenings you know just drawing back and forth and it, those give me ideas when I go back you know to, to the painting S see it differently somehow I don't work that way. I like for things to um, to be a little more sort of spontaneous mm -hmm. and, and and respond to the mark and the color and things as as they begin to emerge in in there. I'm really, you know, I've really only been painting for well since graduate school. So I've been painting since I did my first oil painting in 1987. I really like to read poetry a lot, and uh, I think some of those um, um, some of those things, you know, that, that come out of sort of reading poetry, and yeah. <clears throat> well, a lot of my stuff too, you know, comes from from all these, you know, from these objects. I don't really know why. I don't. I don't really know why that. Um, you know, I, I didn't collect them to have objects. You know, it was just, you know, some really beautiful forms and and uh, uh, you know, the shell. I, you know, I even traded paintings for like these. I've got a couple of these South American birds. And, uh, it was just really kind of nice things. You know, to ha to have around to be able to look at and um, you know, get inspiration from. I, it sounds kind of simplified in the statement, but. I don't know how else to express it, you know, just a, a po poetic kind of balance of of, of 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 ideas, you know, which is taking, you know, color and object and, you know, all these different kind of things. Hmm. You know, I make marks. Um, I, um, that's one of the first things that really, that, that really strikes me about things or the, um, you know, the, 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 the um, the, the way that they manipulate uh, a particular space. You know. I, I I just have a feeling that you know that there's a lot of there's a lot of red because I you know I was really sort of seeing a lot of sort of reddish pink kind of orangey. I, I see a lot of that in the, in the studio at night. You know, you know, it's funny that you mentioned the bird. You know, because I, I remember I remember watching we were on, on the second floor and I remember. That part of the school was sort of down, uh, you know, just the first floor. You could look on the roof. There would always be these birds running along the edge, and I thought that was so great. You know, the way they mm -hmm. they'd run along and sort of squawk. And, and I don't take good care of my brushes. You know, they're just they're in really bad shape. But what, but what's kind of nice is you know when you get to this point, you know, they make a different, they make a real nice mark that that. Um, you know that you might not get with, um, you know, really clean, mm -hmm. uh, straight cut brush. You know, and these little fragments, these little things that I've seen marks. Mm -hmm. You know, like this mark becomes a real. You know, the birds are being a, a. Uh, well, it is. It's an object in itself. The way. Do you have an idea what what the triangle is? Do I have an idea? Yeah. I think 
this point now. Yeah. We see it there too, right? Mm -hmm. I just noticed that, yeah. But it's the easel. And so consequently, you need to get up close and even see, maybe, I don't know. But you can see, yeah, there's some marks here mm -hmm. of, of just where this bird was at some point, at one point. Mm -hmm. and it was, it was about, and it was about this big. Uh -huh. And it was much larger, and it, and it, it didn't fit. Mm -hmm. It didn't fit with the rest of the object. Mm, so, birds, even painted birds migrate. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> It's pretty, uh, pretty yellow mm -hmm. when I get, a, get them all on. Uh, this is about the light that I work in. And, uh, and with, you know, with, when, the, when that's gone, you know, when that, that light's gone, it's really kind of yellow, kind of even pink in here, and it's real, that light's real interesting to me. So, so I did a number of those, and I'm going to, Bill felt like I ought to put a couple of them in the show, just to sort of, you know, show process. Well, the, there's a predominance of red. Yeah. Why red? Is that something that you're always working on? Well, um, red. It, um, I've seen a lot of red in the, you know, a lot of pinky kind of light and the thing and, you know, just trying to deal with it in the, it's a hard color to deal with too because so, I think, because it can be so dominant and kind of take over. So I was kind of trying to, you know, just see if I could work with it too, you know. I'm trying to, you know, and, and, and how, how that red can kind of change, you know, you know, how it... Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's so many variations of it just in that one. Yeah, yeah. So, there's a real sort of eclectic bunch of stuff in this show. And I just... Part of the reason is that, you know, there's a lot of sort of, you know, this kind of experimentation and there's a lot of um, uh, sort of working through, uh, <coughs> working through a lot of, you know, some of the problems with uh, like Picasso and uh, Matisse, I mean, they, they dealt with form and color and so on, you know. So, let's, let me just kind of go through some of these. Others. Oh, some drawings, drawings and paintings. So, on the average, about something like this, how long would it take you to, for you to do that? Th these little ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I, I I would lay out, you know, lay out like three or four at a time. You know, just kind of basic sort of structure of. You know how the thing is put together, mm -hmm. and um, and you know, actual working time I don't know, but I worked on them as as much as, gosh, you know, all, all of these. I, so I wor maybe on. ten, twenty hours. You know, well, uh, almost as much as two months. I just kind of let them sit, mm -hmm. and and then come, you know, look at them out of the corner of my eye when I'm doing other things, and. Mm -hmm. um, so it sort of evolve. Yeah, just back and forth. You know, sometimes the um, and, and, and they they never really start off, or they're they're never really finished like they start off. They just kind of keep you know, keep kind of emerging and just you know responding to the color and using those studies, you know, to help with the uh, you know with the color that's in there mm -hmm. and. Uh, I did a lot of drawing too, just in the evenings, you know, just drawing back and forth, and it, those give me ideas when I go back, you know, to, to the painting, S see it differently somehow. You know, the whole, the whole, 
the whole process real is, is you know is very um, uh, it's very relative, right? I mean how you know how how one sort of plays off the other and.